Hello guys. You may be wondering, it has been a bit quiet the last time on my channel, but I got some updates and I want to share them with you in this video. You may be wondering why my white balance is so strange in this configuration, not in that one. And that may be because of a very specific reason. We'll get to that later on, but it also has to do with astrophotography. I bet you already can think of what uh, I mean. Okay, then um, enough of this camera angle. Let's get back to this standard one. And I will shut this one down here, back here. And um, I've got some updates I want to share with you. First off, I, uh, yeah, I bought my devices and my inventory here in terms of uh, gear, uh, camera and equipment. And one first change is that I sold my Fuji camera. It's not here anymore. I sold it uh, together with the lenses I had. And um, why did I do that? It's because it just makes more sense to stick with one system. There is no real use of having different lenses for different camera types and different mounts and you cannot change them between so I, I went full Sony and um, you know I had the Alpha 7 III here for some time now uh, started from with my dad's Alpha 1 uh, like some years ago uh, trying to shoot so initially <laughs> I know that camera <laughs> uh, I know that type of camera quite well and now I got me this camera too here, which is currently recording. And this is the Alpha 7 IV. And it's a fantastic camera, uh, absolutely love it. Some said it's not a big jump between the 3 and the 4, but in my eyes, uh, it definitely enhances quite some things, especially in the video um, category. But we're not here for tech talk about cameras. Well, maybe, maybe well, but. I don't want to drift apart uh, too much in that direction because, uh, well, I sold my Fuji, sold my lenses, that's what I said. I also sold my, you know, in the background, my Celestron AVX because it mostly was standing around and it was in a mm, weird spot for me because I had the big CM70 for the all the heavy stuff and also for my GT71. And I still had my NEQ3. It's not visible because it's too far here on the 50mm lens, but I can bring it in real quick. Here we go. My CM, no, my NEQ3 mount, which I initially bought for my first Newton scope, and it was manual. That's why I still let these twisty knobs on there. Uh, but at one time I decided to buy the motor kit and upgraded it and installed it. And this is my, well, lightweight <sighs> mount currently. And I still have the Omegon LX4 for super light stuff, for Milky Way, for very wide field uh, shots, astrophotography shots. And this is my next one. And in between to the, the CM70, yeah, it was not really that, um, useful and it was taking quite some space because this one I can easily fold to a tiny yeah, fraction watch this uh, what the Celestron AVX could be folded at least if you want to have it not disassembled completely so <laughs> sold it um, still this one I will keep and the CM70 I also will keep of course now um, what else do I have for you? Mm, let's get back a bit uh, to the topic of video. Um, the Sony FR7 IV is capable of recording 10-bit video, not only as the predecessor, the FR7 III, onto a capture device over HDMI. No, it can record it directly. And it, uh, I did not want to buy a monitor or something. I wanted to have it all in the camera and now I can record 10-bit video and I can play around a bit better in the color grading because I really enjoy mm, through the complete 
astrophotography vlog kind of topics I really got to enjoy taking photos and also recording cinematic video. I tried that in my La Palma trip uh, to get something in there and it's really fun. I'm, I'm a big tech nerd and I enjoy uh, <laughs> Uh, new tech and, and high-tech gadgets or high-tech equipment and the um, Alpha 7 IV definitely is, is a yeah, product which fits that category and so um, I want to experiment a bit um, I'm still of course doing astrophotography but um, I'm, I'm playing a bit around with the channel that's, that's, lead, that's at least my, my idea um, I want to be a bit flexible and not only do tutorials and uh, vlogs in terms of uh, yeah showing what I'm shooting or what I'm editing. So um, I know that in not many days on the 24th of February Kerbal Space Program 2 will be coming out and I think I will uh, try that out. Maybe not on the launch day but um, yeah around that time probably. Maybe I'm doing a live stream or I'm just doing a tryout video. You know, Couple Space Program is somewhat of a space, space flight simulator, if you don't know that. And the uh, second, uh, yeah, or the, the version 2 will be even greater, uh, even though it is in the alpha stage or it will start um, as a open access title. So it's not fully released yet. It's work in progress, but that's how KSP1 also started, so <laughs> I'm not, not um, thinking bad about this. So yeah, that topic will also be coming. Maybe I'm also doing some flight simulator videos all around that topic, but of course I will stay true to um, my main, my core videos, uh, which will be about astrophotography and space. But KSP also fits that content loop in my opinion. Now, a um, lot of general updates. I also got for my editing software um, the full version of DaVinci Resolve, so I can also edit 10 bit video easier and some other features which I well already thought about getting, so that's, that's a neat thing um, for my editing workflow for the videos. And hopefully, which is also a big benefit for uh, my Astro Vlogs because when I'm running around with my main camera, I'm running around the telescope, um, especially here in my backyard with some traffic upcome, there are the noisy cars, people talking, you know, um, all that stuff from the neighborhood. And if you have like a um, directional mic sitting on top of the camera, it's really difficult to get the sound right, especially for such a situation which is not that controlled, like here in my studio, <laughs> in my office. Um, so for that case, you can hear it already, I um, already had a Lavalier microphone, um, which without a uh, wireless transmission did not make so much, too much sense because it was just one, one and a half meters. Of distance from the camera away so I could not be conveniently sitting here and talking to you or um, yeah running around showing you stuff so that's why I also got me an upgrade in terms of audio quality um, using still the left mic but with a transmission line and now it's really easy to take you with me show you around the telescope put you on a tripod tell you something what I'm doing in the camera and um, that's at least from my eyes a quality bonus so <laughs> I know some sometimes uh, in, in my past videos the sound was well it could be better I also tried or well, needed to do some subtitles for some passages because it was not usable um, if I cranked up the volume uh, the noise was yeah, uh, also incredible loud so yeah I did not like that so for this one um, update really easy plug and play and um, yeah with the transmission line here the DJI uh, mic I think it's called so the additional alpha 7 
will sit somewhere here to push it a bit. So I don't know yet what my target will be, but it should be in a similar position for both, of course. All I'm seeing some covering. We're set for the next day. But that's so much about this part of technology. Now let's get back to the intro. And this is, yeah, I'm doing a bit of a free, um, just random talking about some updates here and um, about the Alpha 7 III here. Um, you ma might have wondered why my white balance was that weird. So it's a reddish uh, kind of. And that reason maybe because over the holiday period I, uh, well, got an astronaut for it. Well, I did not do it myself, but I sent it in um, and um, it was converted. So um, it was a specialist. We, um, he also works on, on uh, especially the IBIS sensors of the Sony Alpha. I think it's starting from 7.3 and then a Mark IV, the IBIS sensors. Um, with the image stabilization platform and he removed the um, yeah, layer which blocks the H alpha so it's much more um, sensitive to the H alpha which can be found for in emission nebulae and also in uh, part, parts of galaxies so um, this will be my rig for wild field Maybe also um, on my GT71 with a flattener because of the uh, full frame. So you need a flat big field for that. And I don't think my Newton can <laughs> deliver that. But the GT71 could be a uh, potential candidate for that. But yeah, uh, with, the, uh, with the zoom lens, maybe also with my 20mm uh, uh, wide field. And in the summer, depending, I have not planned any holidays yet, <laughs> but depending where I might be going, then um, there will be also a astro um, session following on that. And we may be hunting the Milky Way and also with some, ho hopefully some red spots in there. Uh, yeah, would be happy. Could not try it out too, too good yet. Uh, sky has been terrible. The last week was nice, but before it was terrible um, the whole January, but yeah, I tried it out on Orion. I have a lot of <laughs> data. Um, <laughs> I have it on my SD card still on the camera and also on uh, yeah my big telescope. I did shoot a bit, but I was not, well, I would not say I was too lazy, but uh, there was just so much stuff going on the last uh, weeks and days and the next week also will be a bit stressful so I'm just sitting here trying to record a little update video for you uh, now in the weekend uh, just to, to stay in touch yeah but uh, I have a lot of data that's what I was gonna say a lot of data not processed and also recorded some videos but I did not get to the editing part and uh, there may be videos following about a using the modded H Alpha uh, Sony camera and uh, also Deep Sky sessions. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I definitely recorded some stuff, but I will see how useful that is and what kind of videos I will make out of that. But as I said, uh, the Alpha 74 and also the editing stuff, I want to be a bit more creative, a bit more cinematic, if you want to call it that. Um, and yeah improve my overall quality and, and what I want to, to put out here on YouTube. So, quite a lot of babbling directly here <laughs> uh, from, from my side. Um, I think that's so much it. Um, the comment, maybe, we could talk about that. Uh, it was all over YouTube in the last weeks, um, the green comment. I did not get to shooting it simply because it was A, not in the best spot um, from my backyard out and I just had no time and no clear skies to, to do so. Um, the perihelion, no not the helion, the perigee is already over. So um, it will, will not be as close and as big. Maybe I, I can try to uh, 
shoot it, but um, yeah, it's not on my um, definitely need to do that bucket list. <laughs> okay, yeah. But um, there are even more targets and I also plan to do one session in the field again, uh, but yeah, it needs to be a bit warmer than uh, minus 10 degrees at night because yeah, coming home and uh, after work, it's not so much fun to get out and try to troubleshoot and get everything going. So, yeah, uh, I, you need to bear that in mind too. And also, a lot of games will be coming out. So, yeah, maybe I was also or will be distracted from them. But if I want to stream them or um, play them here also for you, then um, that is no no showstopper. Actually, it's actually the opposite. Okay, I've talked a lot. I don't know how long is the video, 16 minutes, something, okay. Um, still okay, I think. Um, you can listen to it in the background, maybe. <laughs> maybe I can also put some nice imagery from the last recordings, so at least I, I used some of the clips uh, <laughs> on that. And I also, yeah, I have some ideas in mind about future topics, mm. but yeah you need time and also a bit of energy to do to do those things um yeah that's so much of the updates um i think i will start with the editing <laughs> of some of my images i'm really looking forward to how the h alpha sensitivity change actually showed up uh, in the images had no editing with them at all yet just the uh, view on the back screen of the LCD, which well was promising. So yeah, I will see that and Yeah, now I will go editing and uh, Yeah, maybe I can put a little image just right here for you Okay, um, that's enough rambling and uh, I will stop the video now then. Thank you so much for watching My name is Chris Christian and you've been watching Chris's Observable Universe. Just remember, we are the universe and the universe is us. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> then catch you up in the next video. See ya. Bye. Clear skies. Time to edit the images.